Hey guys, my name is Tatiana. Welcome back to my channel. Currently in my parents' garage, not in my van. That is soon to change. Updates coming soon. I thought today I would do uh, what sold for me in October. Now I'd like to preface, there was only actually really two weeks maybe two and a half weeks in October where I was actually actively listing and actively um, selling stuff um, because one week I was doing this come on the week and the other week I was doing this and we really support that both weeks both my Poshmark and my eBay stores on vacation hold so we'll begin first up on Poshmark that sold this bundle of four mugs, two of which were like free with purchase sort of thing. Total that bundle sold for $18.96. Next, we have this solo mug that sold, the Cat Loves Me Best Mug. I sold this at total earnings, $7.85. Now, generally I like to sell stuff in bundles because, well, you get more bang for your buck essentially because you're also paying the ridiculous shipping fee of $13 here in Canada. So I do like selling bundles, but sometimes my mugs do sell as one-offs. Um, not very often, but this was one of them. Uh, another bundle of mugs and some hard goods and sold that for $31.60. Another sort of like one-off was this set of Beauty and the Beast mugs. Total earnings was $9.89. Next, we have this West Elm plate with like a wiener dog on it. Sold it as a one-off total earnings, also $9.85. Then we have this set of three mugs, which I've sold for $19.75 followed by another set of three mugs, which also I got $19.75 for. Then we have this bundle of two for $10.35, and this Starbucks tumbler mug, which take home I took $12.18, but I got that for free, so that's pure profit. Then this solo, another one-off mug, this Ray Dunn mug for $13.85. Now, moving to eBay, the Stuart Weitzman heels, for $30. Then I sold this Danielle by Danielle perfume for $20. Then I had these men fry leather boots for $30. I was asking a little bit more, but distinguished size on them. And even though I had a, a listing of like it, measurements of the heel, heel to toe, people were still sort of skeptical of the size. So I just took a lower price point on them, plus I was just trying to get rid of them. I had them for like four months. So I took a, a low ball offer of $30, $30. Then I had this instant hot water dispenser filter thing. And this isn't generally what I sell, but I found it brand new, still sealed for $1 at the thrift store. And I was like, I'm gonna take a chance on this and I ended up getting $15. So uh, it's still winning, you know, a dollar to 15, not bad. I would like to mention uh, buyer pays shipping all around. It's it's a uh, buyer pays shipping, just clarifying that. And this is all also in Canadian dollars, not US dollars, Canadian dollars. Then we have good old Facebook Marketplace. So on Facebook Marketplace, I sold these two space heaters for $50. I got them for free, so I was just happy to like get them out of the house. I also sold this antique letterpress also for $50. And that's all I sold on Facebook Marketplace. Again, I wasn't here to sell a bunch of stuff because I was away, so those were like just a few items. And then there's one thing that I did that I didn't actually really document is I have a garage sale in October. So right before I, and I mean literally right before I got into my van and started my one week road trip, I had a garage sale. I've never had a garage sale on October before because generally in October in Canada, it's kind of really nasty and you can't really have garage sales anymore, but I saw it was gonna be a nice day out and I really needed to like get rid of some stuff. And so I hauled my boxes out, put them on Facebook Marketplace and I ended up selling $160 worth um, at that garage sale. So that felt pretty good. Anyway, total I made Reselling items on all those platforms plus the garage sale on Facebook Marketplace is, drum roll please, $509.48. Winning, so for about two and a half weeks worth of listing and actual uh, work, I think that's not a bad turnout. Let's see what November brings because you know, fourth quarter baby. Um, and this would be my like first official fourth quarter so it would be interesting to see how much I sell. Anyway, I am gonna end it here. I'll see you Sunday 
for my last day on my week road trip up Vancouver Island. Until then, bye!